All right, guys, what's going on? So I've been doing some thinking about some stuff that I want to happen on the channel, and I kind of already jumped into something. So I'll just show you guys. I'm sure you guys can tell by the name of this video because I was going to put it as a review. So here it is. Can you guess what it is? It's not just a bag. Boom. Look at that beauty. Icon Air Form Tricker Street 2. So it's it doesn't have the those weird like ducks on the top and there's green stuff coming out of it now instead of just being like a normal jack o' lantern. So let me show you guys. The tinted visor comes with it, but it comes equipped with a clear visor. But I wear a medium and a helmet fits me perfect for how big my head is. But I need a quick time by myself and we'll get into this. So to start this off, we have three open vents here that never close, there's nowhere to close them. And I haven't rode with this yet. This is kind of a out of the box, had a little while review. So I can't really give you an honest review about riding, how loud it is, how much air, stuff like that. But I did want to kind of show you guys some stuff about it because when I was looking, I couldn't tell about the colors or uh, just stuff like that. I wanted to make sure that it was the same color that I was going for and the look and the whole nine yards. But anyways, I just wanted to run you guys through some features in this helmet we have a top vent here it's not very big there's only one vent on the top um we have a sunglass drop down sunshade i guess what you call it not sunglass and then you have a, a pin over here to kind of hold your visor we lock it in so it won't come up at highway speeds or anything all right guys for the back side of the helmet it has these tinted uh, spoiler, I guess is what you call it on both sides to kind of when you're when you're in tuck it Holds you better. So you don't have any wind buffering and We also have an exhaust fin up under here This helmet is DOT and ECE rated and There's a couple more ratings, but if you're not in that country, then you don't get it with this helmet in the USA All right, so as for some features on this helmet, I decided to go with the communicator to accept calls, listen to music, stuff like that. That way I'm not worrying about who's calling me in my pocket or if there's an emergency, something. Something like that. Anyways, it comes to two speakers, a microphone, a Velcro adhesive pad that you could stick on your helmet so you can just pull it off, charge it and whatnot, which is what I have on this one. They also have one that tucks up under the shell of the helmet to hold it better, to make sure that it won't fall off or something when it gets a lot of wind at it. But anyways, with that, we're gonna go inside the helmet. Where the interior is a Hydra Drive Icon uh, material, I guess. But it it works pretty well. I got a little hot in this helmet wearing around, breaking it in. But uh, it it fits really good if you have an immediate opal head shake. It grabs your whole head and feels like it's never coming off, even though I got the right size. I also really like the design of this helmet, the smoking jack o' lantern I thought was super cool, even though it doesn't match anything on my bike or any of my gear or anything like that. I just love the design, I thought it was really cool. So I'm gonna give you guys just a little spin here of it. 
So you kind of see it a little better. And it also glows in the dark. Uh, I tried to get it on video. I, it's too faint to kind of, I guess, register it on the camera. But even in when it's 100% black outside, it's still not that bright. But it does glow in the dark. Kind of. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this review, I guess, look at, unbox, whatever you want to call it, of this helmet. I didn't see one on the internet before this one, so if you're looking for a close-up on it, on a Trick or Street 2 from Icon, I think I did pretty good. There might have been something I missed, but I think for not being a salesman, I did pretty good at showing you guys this helmet. The next couple of videos will also be my gear. We'll probably go into the communicator a little better so you guys can kind of hear the quality of it and all the features and stuff like that. But that's going to be it for this one. And as always, thank you guys for watching. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe.